It, um, I'll, I'll tell you frankly, it took a trip to um, Ohio Bell uh, to convince me that this has got to stop. What people were doing is using the null method instead of the peak method. What do you do when you have a null? You notice you have to step the gain up? A null is nothing. No signal. And how fast it comes up on each side depends upon how much you jack the gain up, which is exactly what you do. You jack it up because the signal is so weak until you get whatever degree of sharpness you want. And you have a coil, whether it's a big loop like that or a little coil, doesn't make any difference to the principle. And when the lines of force are exactly cutting through the middle of this thing, there's no signal out of it. Is that the real world, one conductor? Absolutely not. <laughs> the real world is it's a jungle under there. And some railroad track or some fence over here can be, can be a part of the jungle too. Any conductor that's out there, especially if you're operating it at radio frequency, you see how frequency comes into it? Means that this wire is talking to this fence or that railroad track or this other pipe or whatever it is under there. If this one is talking to this, and I don't care how you put your grounds in, you cannot eliminate some of that rebroadcasting from here to here. This guy is talking too. And the net result is that you don't have a circle anymore. You know that you have uh, either an, you have an ellipse is what you have, some, something like an ellipse. Now take a look at this circle and see where you think that null is going to be. Really sharp, aren't they? Aren't nulls neat? But deadly inaccurate if there's another conductor around. But I could see that what we had to do was design an instrument that couldn't be used in a minimum mode. But people liked the minimum because it was so sharp. So let's take the thing and make it so that it will be, it will, will have a kind of sharpness, something like a minimum has a null. That's why people like it but doesn't use minimums, but uses this maximum signal here, maximum coupling, either this direction or this direction, so that we don't get into that trap of sensitivity to things off to the side. There isn't much difference between the flux going straight through it here and the flux going off on just a little bit of an angle. It's called the cosine function. It doesn't move much until you get way off to the side. So you get this kind of blah thing. Of course, if you have a digital readout, you can read differences much better than you can with an analog meter. If you then take an instrument and, uh, well, let's say it's a manual instrument, and if you were designing one, what you would do is put some exaggeration in there. You would take a curve that's going to look kind of like, it's going to kind of look like the top of one of these circles is what it's going to look like. And you put some emphasis in it and you cut off the sides. You don't pick up anything from here to here. You got that silenced out and you take this and you amplify the tar out of it. Did we help? Okay. <laughs> that's what's done with split box locators. And some people like to put more emphasis or less emphasis. I mean, I can remember some of them that some people built that were like, they were almost digital. They would say, bam, you're over it. Well, it's off. You know, just like a switch almost. It was so much gain there uh, over a certain threshold of cutoff. Silence. We went out to various places and said, see, try the, try the Metrotech 480. It's just like, it doesn't matter what the brand is. And they showed me how they operated, and they were doing that null thing. <coughs> I said, we have to get away from the nulls. We have to make it so people can't even be tempted to use it, but that they have even more facility, more convenience than they have now. And <clears throat> on the way back, that's where the 810 was born in my head, <laughs> on, the, on the airplane. <laughs> and it's nothing but maximum antennas in there doing what maximum antennas can do when, when assisted by, a com by an appropriate computer and appropriate circuitry. We eliminated the need to have a gain control. That was the beginning of automatic gain control. And uh, the, the, uh, also the beginning with one more antenna of automatic, automatically reading the, uh, the depth.